Hi guys, it's me UB Programmer and today I want to discuss about a machine learning project which is spam ham email classification, right? So let's run our Flask app and see what we have built in this project. Let's follow the link for our server and you can see the interface so uh, as the project description says enter the text of the email you are getting and this intelligent web application will try to predict the email is spam or not right uh, let's just uh, test it uh, the application and okay uh, you can see uh, okay so this can be a uh, uh, congress you have won a lottery uh, ticket for free something like that this can be obviously a spam right I just submit it and you can see the entered email is spam right and uh, let's just uh, write a normal message so hi how are you i will pick you up soon right this is the normal message which is not spam obviously we can sense yet but see uh, let's check our machine learning algorithm can sense that or not okay this this is ham and ham is just a word that is like a negation for spam which is not spam we can obviously use not spam let me just do that quickly uh, with our templates and or maybe with our uh, right okay result will be not spam let me just save is at not spam string and the server is restarting let's just reload it and you can see we are getting not spam so the ham is just a negation of spam right now let's just uh see a thing or two about our code uh, let's just run our notebook importing libraries and the uh, data set and you can see the data set has some unnamed uh, columns which has to be removed and drop right which is exactly being done here then we are just renaming uh, columns and then uh, you are getting the clean data set right ready to do uh, like ready to be fed into uh, algorithm by doing some obviously pre-processing and then we are uh, just saying in the category column spam will be zero and ham is equal to one so in this category it will do that right and then uh, we are just creating our input and output variable and yeah so this is train test separate and then the feature extraction feature extraction is just uh, converting a string which is your text of email into uh, some features which can be uh, detected or analyzed by your model because your model a machine learning model can't understand what it is right it has to be numerical values right so that's exactly what we are doing here and then we are just implementing our model as logistic regression and we are getting the accuracy of 96.6 percent which is quite good not bad right and you can use other model as well and it is giving accuracy on training and testing data as 96 percent then we are just making a predictive system and guys this uh, data set link will be provided in the description or uh, just text me if i forget about that right and this is the deployment part so we have just if we can show you uh, in our notebook we have just make a pickle of our 
uh, model and feature extractor which can be like uh, seen here right and we are just loading uh, both of them and then we are saying if you are if you are uh, getting a post request just save the text whatever the user will enter into a variable then give that uh, text into our model and uh, before that do the feature extraction obviously right and if the model says it's uh, the give you uh, return value of one then result uh, will uh, contain not spam otherwise it will contain spam right then we are just passing this variable into our display dot html template let me just show you yeah so and we are just uh, getting text of email also uh, this text of email which was entered by the user right and then we are if i can show you word wrap uh result as a variable right which will be obviously uh, detected as uh, no spam or spam right let me just yeah okay uh that was it guys for today and this was just uh, the pipeline same pipeline which we have extracted from our notebook right uh, so that was it for today and this user interface can obviously be enhanced i have just used simple bootstrap so uh, that's like uh, i am not wasting any time for this part because i am uh, busy in doing machine learning deep learning projects right and you can contact me through this whatsapp or maybe mail me at this gmail or just check out the description or insta and linkedin and to get the source code or maybe discuss about a machine learning or deep learning project or a zoom explainer session for any of the projects right thank you